Tu peux cool. continuer à regarder ça. Hi, thank you for joining Chaos in the Kitchen. Right now, we're going to be making Big Burger Pizza, which is a phenomenal way to showcase many of our summer products. It's basically a burger, but on a pizza. You can also do it on a bed of lettuce if you wanted to turn it into a salad. First step is to use our multi-purpose steamer. I've put one pound of ground beef in there. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of my burger seasoning, which is exactly what it says on the jar to do. Hello, There we go. And I'm gonna use my ground meat separator to separate it and mix it all up. There will never be a quiet video in my life because I have three children that are, you know, here all the time <laughs> and watching TV and fighting. <laughs> Just wonderful. So I've separated my ground meat. I'm gonna put it in the microwave for two minutes. After the two Whoa. minutes, I'll pull it out and I will separate it again, just because I don't want it to pop out as a meatloaf. I really do want it to be grounded up. Um, yeah, minced, grounded up. So I'm gonna clean that up. So while this is cooking in the microwave for the two minutes, my assistant, Milodzi, hello! is going to be making the big burger sauce. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So first we're gonna add this. I don't really know what it is. The mayonnaise. What? The mayonnaise. Oh yeah, mayonnaise. First of all, you're gonna actually add the spices for the big burger sauce. So two tablespoons of this is what you're going to do. Okay. Into the bowl. No, One. Two. And then after that, you're gonna add the mayo. Yeah, mayo. Mayo, mayo, mayo. Delicious mayo. <laughs> and me too. So the mayo, je prends le fact. Yeah, mayo. Okay. Mayo, mayo. After that, you're gonna add. Ketchup! 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 And after that... Relish. Relish. Goodies! Put it all in there. That's yeah. what you're using the spatula for, is to actually get all the contents into your bowl. Yeah. Now see? Le petit le pote, and then stir it, mix it up. Mix it, mix it. So the big burger sauce ingredients are onion, red bell pepper, garlic, herbs, chives, and black pepper. This oh, sauce is like the good. magic sauce, the secret magic sauce yeah. on hamburgers in a certain um, fast food oh, restaurant. It's delicious. It's uh, delicious. It is absolutely amazing. If you thin it out with milk or cream, it actually makes a really nice... Um, Coco hot time. Really nice salad dressing for a pasta salad. <laughs> so if you want to have a look at what our big burger sauce has turned into, it's actually pretty phenomenal. See how it, it actually looks like the big burger sauce. So, And oh. now I will take out my ground meat yeah. sauce. Yo. And I'm going to just grind it up again, separate it again just so that it doesn't come out as a meatloaf. It is actually cooking quite nicely. We're just gonna mix it up, make sure that everything cooks. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be delicious, you're right. Wow, how does it smell amazing? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this back in the microwave for another two or three minutes. I'm just gonna put three minutes. Sweet, sweet. And while that is finishing up, I would like Miradzi to spread some of this big burger goodness onto the pizza. Pizza, pizza. Okay, so just look, I put a lot in there. Okay, so just spread it. Okay. Yes, please, madame. Yeah. So I'm going to 
dice some tomatoes because what do we like on our, think of a hamburger. We like cheese. Ketchup. Well, ketchup is already in there. Uh, we like cheese, mustard. tomato, maybe some lettuce. Mustard. I like mustard, yes. I know. Mushroom, mustard. So I'm just using the ceramic knife. It cuts through, and you see how I'm not smushing? My tomato's not being smushed. These ceramic knives actually stay sharp forever. They never get dull and they cut all our delicate foods. Um, I don't know what else would be delicate. An avocado, uh, grapes. well, grapes, I guess. Anyway, so it's not smushing my tomato like I've smushed many tomatoes in my life. Okay. And our little perfectionist with her burger sauce there. Burger, burger. Delicious, delicious. And the other one beside me here, her cheerleader right beside her here. I'm a cheerleader too. You're a cheerleader too, yes. On hold right now. I'm gonna do a second tomato. I really like tomatoes. Tomato, tomato. Tomato. It's the new cheer today. Cheer, cheer. Tomato, cheer. Cheer, cheer. Cheer, cheer. <laughs> oh, at least they're having fun. Fun, fun. And, um, you know, measuring ingredients is kind of like homeschooling math, right? Home, home. <laughs> so there, you've got our tomato. All chopped up. I've got uh, sound effects coming uh -huh. from the side there. Someone's done. It's Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, it's Well, okay. So I'm just going to put this aside. The tomatoes are ready. The next thing would be the lettuce. I'm just going to get the lettuce done mm -hmm. real quick. So I'm going to actually showcase the mandolin. Um, I've never used the mandolin to shred lettuce. So forgive me, it might be a complete nightmare. I'll just put this behind here so I don't end up with an elbow in it. Um, like I said, I've never done this before. Let's see. I don't even know how to start. It's actually working really well. Actually, it's working really well. So a head of lettuce will probably be better, but it's shredding it really nice, actually. So a head of lettuce would have been better because then I could use the guard. I'm really just trying it out to see what how, how this is going to work. So again, whatever you like on your hamburgers, you could put on this pizza, or you can just put it all on a salad and thin out your burger sauce into a dressing. I'm back. So. I'm back, I'm back. Just gonna use this. This is. So, some chunks are a little bit bigger. I'll pull those out. Cause I kind of did that really quickly. That looks like coleslaw. <laughs> it does actually look like coleslaw, but that's what we want on our burger. Oh, so let's so. see. Okay, so oh, cameraman, please come this way. So you see the meat is with all the grease. We're gonna go to the sink, if you can follow me. Thanks, By folding both sides, opposite ends, we're kind of making a spout and all the grease can just be poured out. So you don't have to worry about it. See how awesome that is? Cut, grease is out. Excellent. Mm. So now we're going to assemble our pizza. So we're going to be putting our ground meat on there. So it is, just break it up a little bit more. <laughs> you know you could use this and paint flowers as a stamp. the ground meat directly onto the pizza. I've preheated my oven. Um, it's only because I'm going to add the cheese and I'd like the cheese to be melted before we add our yeah. other fresh toppings to it. So I don't remember this but I was told that there was a song that said song, song. two patties, lettuce, tomato, cheese, and a sesame seed bun something about along those lines was a song that's for a commercial. 
Well, essentially, those are your toppings for your big burger pizza. I'm going to be Mama. making a salad with whatever we have left in the ground meat. So that's going to be great. And it's seasoned. You can make this with chicken if you'd like. You can make it with, you probably make it with uh, ground ground, like the textured vegetable protein if you want to. Um, pork, like I don't see why you wouldn't be able to make it with whatever meat you prefer. So all those sounds you're hearing in the background, I don't really hear them anymore. So that's part of my life, and I'm sorry if they're disruptive, but that's my life. So, and now we're gonna add some cheese. Klaus really likes to add cheese. Mm -hmm. So we're going to let her do that. Ajoute le fromage. Prends une de fromage. Take a handful and put it on the pizza. Sprinkle. A little bit everywhere. Now I'm gonna pop this in, in, in the in, oven. In, in. Someone just fell down the stairs. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. Bye bye. Actually, I think that this is going to melt. Okay. Anyways, so I will pop this in the oven to melt the cheeks. Then I will top it with my lettuce, my tomato. I have some pickled onion. You could also add some pickles. Um, I don't have any pickles just because I ate them all and my kids don't really want any pickles on their pizza. So on my part, my half, I'm gonna add the pickled onions and this I also use with the mandolin. So you can see how like beautiful they came out. Willow, willow. It's like the eyeball. Ooh. So Ooh. we're just gonna skip the step of the oven because I think the cheese is already melting on top of the ground, the hot ground beef. So we're just gonna add the lettuce. And this is also for time's sake. So we're gonna add the lettuce to our big burger pizza. That's a big chunk that I missed. Put that there, another one. So the kids have told me that they like eating greens and oh my gosh, she just put it in her mouth. That's the first time I see her putting lettuce <laughs> at Subway <laughs> before swimming one night she asked why I'm putting grass on my sandwich <laughs> so we're putting grass on our pizza sussing it pizza and now we're gonna add the tomato I'm just gonna sprinkle it on the tomato on my side because I like onions. <laughs> you top it off with everything bagel seasoning, which is your sesame seed uh, bun on top. So here's our big burger pizza. Guess you can see? You can make it. <laughs> awesome, awesome. 